This is part two. Make sure you check out part one. You can find the link in the description below or hit the thumbnail and enjoy this episode. What's the, one of the most important things you've done over the last four years to, to help grow your business? The most profitable is the celebrities. Do you That's buy this or? No, we're renting it. We Why do you rent, rent versus buying it? You're supposed to work not more than eight hours mm -hmm. if you're good in business, right? That's amazing that simply with that one change, you, you saw your, your business continue to grow. What's more profitable, Ilya? Commercial or residential? It always depends on the season and uh, always depends on uh, what is the company vision. Mm -hmm. So if you're working for a long-term ship, so then I'll say the commercial, so it's most likely more profitable than... Um, Higher profit margins? Yeah, than uh, residential. But what about the residential? The people like to work for residential. There's a lot of tips there. With your business, What's the percentage of commercial business versus residential? So I'll say the commercial actually uh, on top of the residential right now. Uh, if we're talking about percentage, Roughly, it'll be yeah. like uh, 60, 40. 60, 40. 60, 40. Yeah. Okay. Does that switch at some point in the year? And if so, why does that happen? Oh, uh, yeah. That's sometimes, the, for example, uh, this uh, wildfire, right? This uh, ash flying around. Oh, so yeah. after that, so yeah. the people realize that's like their backyards houses in very bad condition rent mm. uh, so uh, and uh, of course after that they start calling and uh, asking for the pressure washing services to make this their houses clean makes sense yeah, yeah i never knew that you know sometimes natural occurrences like that yeah, would absolutely. then create more work and more opportunities for you to yeah. do that When you got started, how many hours, this is kind of a quick answer, how many hours did you find yourself working? Has that changed year four or are you still at it? How many, what's your week look like? So, I worked about like uh, eight hours, 10 maybe, but right now I guess I'm working around like 16 hours a day as an entrepreneur. Entrepre Un entrepreneur. Entrepreneur. Yeah, you got it. So, <laughs> I think you're supposed to work not more than eight hours. Mm -hmm. if you're good in business, right? So, because this is called uh, time management. You know how to do this, you know uh, your hours, you know your people, you can delegate the different tasks mm -hmm. between uh, your team. Um, you're not at that time when it's time to hit the couch and not work. Yeah, I, mean, I you're, feel you're, myself, you're in growth. Yeah, I feel myself uh, in the right position right now, and even I work in 16 hours, mm -hmm. I'm happy with it. Yeah, and makes the people happy. So this is the, the reason ah. why we're here. Yeah. So it sounds like everything else is kind of basic cleaning supplies. You got the brush there that they're going to be using. I'm interested in this thing behind uh, behind us right here, with just like a big anchor, or, or what is that? Yeah, this is a debit system which helps you to uh, drop the people in the basket. If okay. you ever seen that that type of work it help you to um it help you to do the job on a wider uh scale scale okay. yeah and uh as, especially if you putting like um advertisement on mm -hmm. the building or you're doing a paint painting or yeah like uh, you see this building yeah right there yeah right there it's a it's a very Beautiful. simple building with a flat wall and it's it's easy to go there with a huge basket, mm -hmm. very wide basket. Do that's you buy this reason. or? No, we're renting it. We're Why do renting? you rent versus buying it? Because uh, when you buy it, so you're supposed to storage, you're supposed to uh, deliver it to the place. Mm -hmm. When you rent it, it's, well, that's included. It's included. It's always easy to go. Might be for the future, right? When we all be uh, national wide, so. Yeah, I think you bring up a good point because we interviewed another company. You guys check out our other episodes there uh, where they talk about you don't need to necessarily buy all your equipment with your cash. Start by renting it first. And then when you have the extra money, start buying slowly. Yep.
I want to come back to profit margins just for a second, and not residential or commercial, but specifically a job type. Is there a job specifically that nets you the highest profit margins versus another one that's lower? Can you give us a couple examples? The most profitable is the celebrities. Yeah, so, and it's not a commercial, it's a residential, of course. I see. So I don't have rights to talk about it. Right. But, but you've got clients. We got some clients who are the celebrities and very famous government people. Uh, what's the tip for our viewers who maybe in the, in a market like this in, in New York and San Francisco that want to go after a different sort of clientele? What would be the trick to doing the right thing? First of all, uh, doesn't matter what you do, you need to be passionate about it. And people talk about your service, they talk about your value. Yeah, it's very interesting in terms of getting more clients, right? Yeah, when, when you take absolutely. care of them, when you show the passion. Yeah, and uh, you need to just be patient and working, working, working. Even you fail, so there's the some light. Keep at there. it. There, yeah, <laughs> just go there. So Ilya, what's the, one of the most important things you've done over the last four years to, to help grow your business? So the most important thing, I found the right people. So because the team is everything. You cannot do by yourself nothing. Or you can, but to an you will reach that seal, mm -hmm. right? That makes every sense. Find yeah. the right employees, yeah, find right the right employees. team. We will cover your back, we will efficient and uh, productive. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Really, and really important. And trustful. What about paying your awesome team? What does that look like, the pay structure? Uh, are you most of your personnel on salary, hourly? So we, uh, yes, we paying salary by uh, hours. So, and also we do have uh, bonuses from the each project. Okay. And also, so we do have a bonuses uh, quarterly, we do have a bonuses uh, employee of the year, the kind of stuff like this. Sounds like you've got a different, different layers of rewarding your employees. Absol um, absolutely. Why, why is that? Because if you're working hard, you deserve the money. Mm -hmm. So if uh, you feel yourself... That's a great philosophy. If you, des if you feel yourself to work a little bit slower today, I'm good with it. Just keep the plan mm -hmm. and uh, get your money, which we was agreed for. If right. you're doing something extra, get the extra money. All right, you guys, blitz question time. Ilya, we have five questions, 10 to 20 seconds to answer each. If All you right. were to sell your business today, what would you sell it for? I don't know, maybe 10, 20 millions. 10, 20 million, wow, okay. Next question is, what's a good day here for you as far as dollar income, and what's a bad day on average? Uh, so it might be $100, it might be $100,000, so project. it depends on the project. Okay. The other one is, what's your least favorite experience in running this particular business? I had the companies like this who are unprofessional. One so thing about what you mean unprofessional, what's, what's one example? Unprofessional, they do not that quality job, they're not knowledgeable, mm -hmm. they don't have uh, insurance, they don't have uh, certification, licenses, and yeah, so, the stuff like this. And okay. they're just working like they came from the backyard growing the flowers there. So it's very risky, high risky job. So you're supposed to be prepared. Awesome. Yeah. I love it. What about packages for pressure washing? Do you have different packages? How, how did you put that together? Walk us through that a little bit. Or is it all case by case as far as your services, your package services? So the packages, I'll say everything is very individual mm -hmm. because the, our clients, they're unique. So there's always something unusual something new for us right and that's how the packages become so so you don't have i go on your website and there's package one package two package three no, no, no. you, you, you do don't have operate a, that way we we work the way as a pressure washing window cleaning painting waterproofing okay soft washing some metal wood and uh, stone restoration but no packages like pressure washing for thousands per feet or mm. pressure washing for 100,000 square feet, no, not like this. You gotta get out there and see it. So yeah, put we're it supposed together. to see accessibility, we're mm -hmm. supposed to see uh, difficulty, right. and also depends on uh, 
frequency, so the price will be become or package will be become. So because some clients they'd like to do, for example, window washing, only exterior, mm -hmm. pressure washing, only driveway or uh, pressure washing for the building, it's a different. And the building buildings they do have a different size. That's why. Okay. Yeah, you mentioned something that helped your business grow. So year one, year two, is there anything in there that you did that also helped you think differently about yourself and you've seen more business come in as well? I realized that uh, if I coming for the estimate, for example, right, I coming with a t-shirt and uh, just the regular shirts. So it not works that well if I coming like this, for example, more official. Interesting, okay. And uh, yeah, it's not only the way how the client see you, it's also the way how you feel yourself. So you, you feel yourself more confident, you feel yourself more official, you're walking like this, after <laughs> this. <laughs> you know that's, uh, you know why you're here, yeah. and the client know why you're here, so. <laughs> yeah. This is, yeah, this is actually, that's worse. Especially for me, mm -hmm. so I don't know. Yeah, no, that's a simple idea, you guys. We'd love to hear your experience, your comments. Uh, I mean, we're talking about simply changing the way you look, the way you perceive yourself and other clients. That's amazing that simply with that one change, you, you saw you, your business continue to grow. In terms of scaling your business, what's your future goal for the next five to 10 years, and how are you going to do that? Maybe if you could share with us the next couple steps that you plan to do to grow. Yeah, absolutely. Next step, it's a uh, national wild. National so we're wild. going okay. for uh, different states. We already located in uh, Nevada and uh, Chicago. Mm -hmm. So, and along with LA, of course. Nice. And uh, another five years, this is the goal. And after that, I believe in the uh, uh, worldwide, so oh, I love it. Some so you're thinking really big projects for the bridges, stadiums, some unique buildings. Yeah, wow. I love it. That's awesome, you guys. It's yeah. easier to think bigger than it is to think smaller. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and thank you for watching. <laughs>